The first Wicked teaser trailer is finally here, and fans have some notes. The movie is a long-anticipated adaptation of the beloved stage musical created by Winnie Holzman and Stephen Schwartz. That show is based on a novel of the same name by Gregory Maguire, which itself is a dark take on The Wizard of Oz. Confused yet? Who, me? The movie is helmed by John M. Chu, with a cast led by Cynthia Erivo as the Green Witch Elphaba and Ariana Grande as her cheerful pink counterpart, Glinda. So why are musical theater fans in a tizzy over the trailer? Some fans are thrilled at the first glimpse of this long-awaited two-part film, and some have detailed critiques ready to go. Some users on X, formerly known as Twitter, went absolutely wild over the teaser, like one excited fan who declared Wicked to be, in all caps, MOVIE OF THE CENTURY ALREADY! Others were a little more measured but still cautiously optimistic, referencing one of the most disastrous movie musical adaptations in recent memory. They wrote, This might be actually good, especially visually, holy crap. Just hope it doesn't pull a cat. <laughs> Wicked fans know that the musical contains some of the most challenging musical theater numbers in the medium especially the high-octane number Defying Gravity, and snippets of Arrivo's vocal performance were also the subject of heated discussion. Some fans loved the first look, saying, Cynthia's Defying Gravity climax had me shouting in this apartment. Sorry to the downstairs neighbors. Others felt exactly the opposite, writing, This looks incredible, although I'm not sure how I feel about Cynthia's run at the end of Defying Gravity. You're great. There were also plenty of mostly good-natured jabs and jokes about the Wicked trailer, which aired while the Kansas City Chiefs and the San Francisco 49ers faced off during the Super Bowl. Comedian Matt Belisai pointed out that the trailer was meant for a super-specific audience, writing, They aired the Wicked trailer at the beginning of the Super Bowl to keep gay people busy for the rest of the night, like dangling musical theater keys. A different poster took the theater kid through line and ran with it, saying, the Wicked trailer dropping before the 7 p.m. curtains is the most theater kid thing. Others, like film critic Guy Lodge, questioned whether the movie would be as big as everyone expects, citing the subpar performance of one of John M. Chu's previous films. He wrote, Wicked trailer is reminding me of when so many of you tried to claim that In the Heights, a film that absolutely does not exist, will be some kind of seismic cultural event. Then some fans came after the way the film was marketed. From the way it looks to the fact that it's going to be spread across two films, Deathly Hollow style. Actor David Krumholtz, who recently appeared in Oppenheimer, went after the trailer's overall look, writing, The Wicked trailer looks like an early aughts era Skittles commercial. Another disapproving voice weighed in to say, It's a CGI nightmare that undersells the beautiful sets. A lot of what they're marketing here probably won't even appear in the first film. If this were the trailer for a complete Wicked movie, I'd be more hyped. But it ain't. It's a trailer for half a movie. Tell me, outside of a few bangers, what plot-wise happens in Act 2 of Wicked? We meander to set up The Wizard of Oz and don't do much else. On another note, there's been a trend of movie musicals trying to hide the fact that they're musicals in the first place. The Wicked trailer definitely suffers from this at least a little bit, and some people noticed. One wrote, If your trailer is trying to hide the fact that the film version of one of the most popular musicals ever is, in fact, a musical, I think you may have lost the plot a bit. Speaking of plots, as previously mentioned, the movie will be split into two parts, presumably attempting to mimic the Broadway show's intermission which happens after Elphaba belts defying gravity, becomes a powerful witch she truly is, and flies over that in-house audience on her broomstick. While this is an interesting approach for the movie adaptation, the two halves of the film are set to be released a full year apart, with the first arriving this Thanksgiving. Splitting huge blockbusters into two parts to sell double the tickets has been in vogue since the final Harry Potter film did it in 2010 and 2011. But the tactic has offered diminishing returns ever since. Beyond that, movie musicals haven't been thriving critically or commercially as of late. The Mean Girls movie musical, which also made the interesting choice to hide most of its musical numbers in the trailer, performed better than many of its predecessors. But the ex-user who invoked Tom Hooper's absolutely disastrous 2019 adaptation of Cats was right to point out that big Broadway shows don't always translate to the big screen. You could be really hot if you change, like, everything. Um, 
From potential CGI missteps to the two-part release schedule to Cynthia Erivo's vocal performance, fans of Wicked have certainly honed in on all of the possible angles. They'll have plenty of time to make a final judgment when the movie finally releases on November 27th, 2024.